Nate, how's it going everybody? I'm some guy named Nate. This is Nurse Love Addiction. My palm is itchy, which means, ow, my shoulder crunched. My, your palm itchy means either A, you haven't showered in a while, or B, you're going to get money. And I showered this morning, so it's obviously I'm going to get money. Right behind me, we can hear somebody breathing. Who is it, everybody? Who is it? Huh? Take any guesses. Just guess. I turn around. What? What? Holy crap. Okay. That, that, there's the blood for you, everybody. I just got stabbed in the gut. <laughs> I do not immediately realize what just happened. A heavy dull sound seems to echo down from the core of my body. I can't tell whether it's hot or cold. I feel it's like something hard and sharp is forcefully wedged into my body. A shivering sensation and a chill. Ah! Who stabbed me? I'm, something is lodged inside of my stomach. Surprisingly, there is no pain. Just the feeling of blood draining from my entire body and a sudden attack of sleepiness. Oh, I'm gonna die. I think this unconsciously without fully grasping what's going on. My vision begins to rapidly darken. The end? Huh? What? I feel the strength suddenly leave my legs. Simultaneously, I feel being pulled from my stomach. My vision grows darker and darker. The red stain grows deeper and deeper. Blood red. My body leans forward. Oh no, I'm gonna hit my head. Hey, it rhymed. I think this, but I'm unable to move my hands back from my fall. My body falls forward. There's no pain, just a nasty sensation in my stomach. There is the sensation of something slippery seeping out of me and spreading across the top of the roof. Oh. 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 My stomach feels sick. I think I'm gonna throw up. Man. I can't hear anything. I can't feel anything, but my consciousness ebbing away. Oh. My mouth moves, but I have no idea what I'm saying. Ah. In the end, I'm cold. I think to myself, as the darkness swallows me. Meh. 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 Oh my god. Did I get a bad ending? No, I'm regaining consciousness. I just need to hit the X button a whole bunch. And I'm back. Did I, did I lose? Did I lose? Is Monica here? What? My stomach! I blink, my body is tense. Huh? What the hell? I've awoken inside my bed. My mind is hazy, and my body feels heavy. Hmm. Ooh. Did I have a fever dream? I let out a single yawn, then I sit up. The light of the room is off in the dark, but the small beam of moonlight, moonlight, get your mood right. My shining through the crack of the curtain tells me it's night. No. I call out, but there's no reply. Oh shit, I am having a fever dream. I stole my way out of bed and I turn on the lights. Ah! The light pierces my eyes, there's no sign of now. No coming from the kitchen either. I wonder if now went out. Even as I mutter this, I hear my stomach growling loudly. I'm really hungry. Perhaps I overslept and I've been asleep for an extremely long time. But my head feels dizzy with hunger. I'm awake, but it's as if it's still a dream. Everything feels unsteady and somehow unreal. But in any case, the hunger is real. I wonder if there's something in the fridge. Just as I mutter to myself, I head towards the kitchen. The door makes a clinging sound, and then... The light is on, sis. I hear now's voice and the sound of footsteps running in. Sis! Oh, hey now. Uh, were you in at the convenience store? I say nonchalantly to now, who's carrying a shopping bag in her hand. My words do not seem to reach now for some reason. Her eyes fill with tears, and she drops the shopping bag onto the floor and pounces on me. Yep. Sis! I'm so glad. I, th I thought you would never wake up. Yeah, I know, so I actually was stabbed. W wait, hold on a second. What what happened? Why are you... Because, because I, I was so worried about you. Now says this as she clings on to me. Huh? Something worries me. For a moment, I fear as if something is wrong. Hey, now, why was I sleeping in my bed? Why... What had I been doing before that? Sis, you don't remember... No, I don't. Remember what? Sis, I found you collapsed on the roof of the school and then... Oh, man. Yeah, I remember getting stabbed. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Oh, I suddenly remember everything. I remember getting stabbed. Oh, that's right! I was stabbed! I totally forgot about getting stabbed! Sis, I cry out suddenly a loud voice and now look surprised. 
but I had more important things on my mind. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that's right. On the roof, someone had stabbed me through the stomach. Wait, now. Sorry. Hold on a second. Pulling the clinging now off me, I pull out my pajamas. I check my stomach. I had thought I'd see a nasty scar tightly wrapped in bandages, but... It's smooth, huh? No way! My stomach, which had been viciously stabbed, is as smooth as ever. There's no sign of a wound anywhere. Uh -huh. My mind is in a state of complete panic. You know? Now! Uh, yes. This time I'm the one to cling on to now. Cling. You found me collapsed on the roof, right? Yeah, there was no sign of you, so I went out looking for you, and I found you on the roof. I spent a long time looking for you, you know. I'm in a pool. In a pool of blood? Pool of blood? What are you talking about, you idiot? Now looks baffled. Oh, man. Maybe when you get kissed for the first time, it feels like you got stabbed in the stomach? That I didn't feel like I got stabbed in the stomach. I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, you know, you found me collapsed in a pool of blood, right? Huh? No, you collapsed, but when I went to call Ms. Ahira and examine you, she said it was probably anemia. So it's just what Kaide has. Why does everybody have anemia? She said you were probably exhausted from the school festival. For people who don't know what I'm talking about, that was Danganronpa 3. They made a joke that Kaide had anemia, so she didn't want to... She didn't like the sight of, sight of blood. She didn't want to donate blood. She didn't want to give her blood to a Tua. All those things. Anemia? Yes. No pool of blood. No. No pool of blood whatsoever. No. No pool of blood whatsoever. What do you even mean by pool of blood? Um, I thought I was stabbed, so, um, well, uh, you know what I mean? It makes a little too less sense to explain. I gasp, fool or I gop foolishly. <gasps> Sorry, that was a weird burp. I was told that it was probably just anemia, but you didn't wake up at all, so I started to get really worried. Tears well up in Nao's eyes again. I'm sorry. Sorry for making you worried now. <laughs> but it's okay, because you're awake now. Yep. Are you alright? Do you hurt anywhere? Uh, no, I'm fine. I just seem to be really hungry. See, listen to my tummy. As if on cue, my stomach grumbles again. Now, with tears in her eyes, laughs a little. I guess that makes sense. You have been sleeping for an entire day, right? I'll go make you something. An entire day? Yeah, the school festival was yesterday, and now it's the night of the day after. Man, whoa. I'm gonna get terrible grades this quarter, aren't I? You missed school, but since Ms. O'Hara knows your situation, I don't think it'll be a problem. Alright, hold on a second. Whoosh. Now heads to the kitchen. I remain standing alone. I stand alone in our room. Yep, oh, my stomach. Once again, I pull up my pajamas to confirm. It remains smooth as ever. I'm fairly certain that I got stabbed, though. My memory seems foggy, and all of a sudden it is vaguely like a dream. But, I remember getting horribly stabbed, just like that. But the sensation of being stabbed by someone remains vividly clear and undreamlike. On the roof, I had turned around and it had been someone that had run into me, so I hadn't been able to see their face of the person who had stabbed me. Oh, it's probably Itsuki. The part is also dreamlike. Hmm. Well, in any case. For some reason, my stomach is completely smooth. I guess I can't complain about it not being hurt. Hmm. Sis. I hear Nao's voice coming from the kitchen. By the way, why were you on the roof yesterday? It took a long time to find you there. Um, well... Yeah, I got smooched really hard before I got stabbed. I would forgotten due to everything else yesterday that happened. What had happened on the roof, it should be important enough for me not to forget. Miss Sakuya had kissed me. She was like, Um, well, that is... Like you went out to enjoy the evening air or something? Uh, no, well, um... What had that been? Why had Miss Sakuya kissed me? I wonder, had that been a dream too? Oh, that totally makes a lot more sense. I mean, of course, when I think of it properly, all of it seems too outrageous. It makes more sense as a dream. But, but, I touch my lips gently, although my memory may be foggy, and my mind confused, my lips remember. I know you lie, your lips are moving, tell me do you think I'm dumb, I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough, I'm like Fox News and I'm Fox News too, if I was richer, still be with ya, ain't that some shit, ain't that some shit, no, your lips are moving, yeah. 
how happy I had felt. That was a really good mashup song. I remember when uh, Earl Venn did mashups. He was a good DJ. I hope he's still doing shit. I feel a, a prickle of guilt. And a pickle of guilt. Sis. Now his questioning voice. I hastily shuffle about. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I had been having a talk with Miss Akuya. Miss Akuya left first, though. Yep, I remember. I see. Miss Akuya didn't say anything about it. Now it says with a hint of dissatisfaction. Weird. Um, organize. Let me organize my thoughts, or else I'll never make any sense of this at all. Let's start uh, assuming that all wasn't a dream. Event one. First, Miss Akuya calls me up on the roof. Event two. We talk a little, and Miss Akuya kisses me. Eek. Event three. Miss Akuya goes back inside the school, and I stand there in a daze. Event four. Somebody sh comes up and stabs me in the stomach. Having organized my thoughts, it sounds like a dream. I can't help but reach out to that in conclusion. All that's left to do is master. I think I'll talk to Miss Akuya about it. The only per other person other than myself who would know what happened on the roof is Miss Akuya. Though, she may not know anything about me being stabbed or not being stabbed. Hmm, but then again, maybe she does. Maybe Now's healing forehead healed my stab wound in one day? Yes, that's what I'll do. That would be really dark. Meal time. Yep, that was great. I stuffed my stomach full of the food that Now had made. Burp. There you go. I get that you haven't eaten for an entire day, but you just stuffed yourself way too much. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine now. Listen. Listen, Linda. Hmm? I'm gonna have to pay a visit to Miss Akuya's room. In response to my words, now stares at me blankly, but as I begin to stand up, she says quickly, Miss Akuya isn't in her room. Huh? Her mother collapsed again, and she's back at her home right now. I didn't go to the school either, but when I called Machi and Michi, they told me. They said that she would call out like last time during class. So if she's not in her room right now, this time seems like it'll be for two or three days. Two or three days? I know that has nothing to do with what happened yesterday, but so many things are happening all at once. My fine fe mind feels like it'll explode. All right, let me see. What should I do? I have no idea. I can call Miss Akuya. No, I shouldn't. She'll probably, she probably got her hands full. Uh, if it's about Miss Akuya, you could ask Miss Itsuki. Miss Itsuki? Yeah, according to Machi and Michi, she's been in contact with Miss Akuya after she left. That makes sense, I see. I talked to Miss Itsuki. It does make sense, although I'm not exactly, or sure exactly how much she'll tell me. No, actually, I'm not sure how much I should tell her. Yeah, I'll do that. Tomorrow. Yeah, I think you should probably rest some more today. You know, you got stabbed in the stomach or whatever. Oh, so I don't have to study? I'm not a monster, you know. But we do have to make up for lost time tomorrow, okay? I think I'm going to have bad dreams tonight. I say gloomily as now laughs a little. <laughs> All right, I'll clear the dishes now. You can stay here, sis, and finish up your tea. Mmm. Fresh tea. Mm. Saying this, now gets up. She efficiently stacks up the dishes and heads up to the kitchen. I talk to her from behind, casually. What am I going to say? Hey, now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. <laughs> uh, healing forehead, healing hands, magic charms. Yawa Og Niop Ekt Ekam. Make the pain go away. Now, do you suppose your magic charm will work on, say, a stab wound to the stomach? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what are you talking about? Oh, well, I was just wondering. Mm. Now contemplates this for a moment. If someone had the ability to heal like that, they'd pretty much be a god. Like a Tua. A god? Someone who would heal any wound. I suppose a god could even bring the dead back to life. A god, is it? That's probably true. Alright, what else? Oh, I'm no god. Yeah, I know you're not now. You're just a sister. A little sister. The next day. We're going to find out what happens the next day on the next installment of Nurse Love Addiction. The kiss and the pain was really real. Karaoke secrets? Oh, man. We're on karaoke secrets, everybody. What's going to happen? You're going to find out. I'm going to quick save as well just to, just to be safe. I'm going to quick save again. I don't know why Gary Busey showed up all of a sudden, but Gary Busey's really a really tough man, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching Nurse Love Addiction so far. If you're liking it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Rooftop Stab.